I'm Constant Michael Nowakowski, and we just want to thank you for being right here in the middle of the heart of Phoenix at Metro Center, where we're going to be having a back to school um, backpack giveaway sponsored by the Latino Institute. And I just want to really thank all the members from the Latino Institute, which are, happens to be city employees from the Parks and Rec that volunteer their time. It's our city employees that volunteer, to, volunteer their time to give back to the community. It's the middle of summer, and a lot of you are saying, why are we talking about coming back to school? Well, if you think about it, just two weeks from now, school starts. And it's so important. It's so important to make sure that our children are prepared. As a parent and as a community, that's the number one thing that we can do, is to make sure that our, parent, our kids are prepared. We have Brenda right here. Come on up, Brenda, and kind of show us the backpack that everyone's going to get. It has a nice little logo of, this, of the Latino Institute, and it has all kinds of stuff inside the um, backpack. But what's more important is how you, how you as a community can get involved. We're asking for donations of $9, just for $9 that you can provide a backpack for our kids out in this uh, Metro Center area and throughout the city of Phoenix. So it's so important that you give back to our community and support the Latino Institute by giving $9 to provide children with a backpack and all the sources, resources that they need to, to make it through school. Thank you, Brenda. And with that, it's so important to let you know when it's going to happen. So you parents, make sure to mark this date down. It's going to be Saturday, July 27th from 9 to 2 p.m. Right here, right here at Metro Center, right at the location that we're standing right in front of Dillard's. So it's so important to mark your calendars. Remember, Saturday, July 27th from 9 to 2 p.m., the City of Phoenix Latino Institute will be hosting a free um, backpacks, back to school and all kinds of different programs and getting people prepared and your kids prepared for school. With that, I'd like to introduce to you one of my colleagues that represents this district and she happens to be the smartest woman on the council. Matter of fact, she's the only woman on the council. My colleague, Thelda Williams, that fights not only for our children and for the Metro Center area, but she also fights for domestic violence and she fights for those um, animal, uh, part of the animal task force, making sure that animal abuse doesn't exist in the city of Phoenix. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you my colleague, Thelda Williams. Thank you, Councilman Nowakowski. I am so pleased uh, to be here today and to have you here uh, and to have everyone at Metro Center, the new improved Metro Center. It's so exciting. Uh, you know, as a grandparent and a parent, there's nothing more important than our children. And there's nothing more important to our children than education. This is an opportunity for the community to help them get a healthy, good start on their education, providing uh, the tools they're going to need. I also want to thank Dillard's. Dillard's is donating the space and much of the, the tables and uh, giving us an opportunity to put the backpacks together and to hold the fair. Now, what's going to be at that fair? You will have the opportunity to get free immunizations, get haircuts, dental checkups, health screenings, and learn all about the new Obamacare laws and what that means to you and your family. And to top it all off, the first thousand kids that come will get a free backpack full of school supplies that will prepare them for next year's or this year's uh, education time. So I want to thank the children that are here today and for the Parks Department, all the employees that have put this together and encourage you, $9 is a very small price to pay for something to have such great rewards. So please donate and thank you very much. All right. All right, kids, I need your help. We're going to say thank you, Council Member Williams, all right? One, two, three. Thank, thank you, Councilman Williams. All right. Thank you, Councilwoman. And once again, um, as the Council Member mentioned, that there's a new law. That by the third grade, our children have to read at a certain level. To explain this new law to you and to explain how the Latino Institute is going to educate our parents about this new law is Tim Valencia. Thank you, Thank you, Councilman.
Early childhood literacy is critical to Phoenix's future success and economic growth. Employers are requiring skills that involve analytical thinking, problem solving, and effective communication, and much more. These skills began to develop during the child's formative years, and vocabulary acquisition is the foundation. The re re reality is, is that approximately 7,000 of our Phoenix third graders are not reading proficiently, and about 1,000 of those students have scored far below on the Ames reading test. Unfortunately, our children are heading to kindergarten unprepared and almost 18 months behind. Due to a new law called Move On When Reading, if students are not reading or are reading at or below grade level after completing the third grade, they will be held back. Our communities need to be aware of this new requirement that takes effect this school year. Our families need to understand by the end of third grade, their children must shift from learning how to read to reading to learn. The most important tool to help children achieve grade level reading is their parents' involvement. Parents need to read to their children every day and help them develop a love for reading. We need to involve them in literacy-based activities within our Phoenix Public Libraries, our Pack After School programs, Head Start, and Early Head Start programs. And as a, as a city and a community, we all have to step up and help our students, parents, and schools meet this challenge, and that's where the Latino Institute fits in. Their help spreading the word on this new requirement at the Back to School event. The Back to School event will promote literacy services that will help parents help their children. Thank you. All right, Jim. You know, it's my pleasure now to introduce to you an individual from the city of Phoenix that has worked for the last 13 years to make sure that the Latino Institute is successful. An individual that was one of the co-founders of the Latino Institute 13 years ago. Can you believe that 13 years ago, our city parks and rec employees felt it was important to create an organization like the Latino Institute to give back to the community, to make sure that those needy children have backpacks, to make sure that they get the shots that they need to go back to school, to make sure that they have all the resources that they need to be successful in school. And the bottom line, folks, is that it's through education that we're going to end domestic violence. It's through education that we're going to end gang violence. And it's through education that we're going to end poverty. And that person that's leading this march with the Latino Institute is Carmela Ramirez. Thank you, Councilman Nowakowski, and thank you, Councilwoman Williams. We're so happy to be here this um, Actually, it's next Saturday, July 27th, here at Metro Center, and we want to thank Metro Center for all of their support, their involvement to Deb, to Brent, and all of your team. It doesn't happen without a whole village working together, and that's what we're doing. We're the City of Phoenix Parks and Recreation Department, but we are also many other departments within the City of Phoenix, including law and library and transit and public information. We all come together to make this possible, and we're happy to do so. Of course, we couldn't do it without the City of Phoenix Parks and Recreation Department itself. That is the key for us. They give us the opportunity to volunteer, to work with our community, and create incredible programs like this. And we're very happy to bring it here to Metro Center this year. These kids here are from Holiday Park, and they can't wait. Right, everybody? Yeah! Oh, yeah, they're excited. They'll get backpacks, they'll get haircuts, they get immunizations, they get education information. We'll be talking about Medicaid. We'll be talking about the new Obama um, insurance that's out there. We talk about topics that are important to the community, and we work together to get that message out. Thank you so much to Metro Center, City of Phoenix Park, to our council, and to everybody that's going to be here that day. We're going to have a great time. Thank you. And with that, we just want to thank you all for coming out, especially the children. Thank you. And what we want to do right now, and you can all help me, is we're going to thank Metro Center and thank all the people, the Latino Institute, and all the people that have donated and supported this program. Ready? We'll just say thank you. One, two, three. Thank you! And that's what it's about. It's about thanking you all. And remember, you could donate $9 to support this program and by providing a backpack for needy children. So once again, thank you so much.